guys, I am here with Sasha. She is a 13 year old Shih Tzu and she's going to get a fusion inspired style. Her pet parent likes her as short as possible on the upper part of the body and the lower legs very, very long. Two ponytails, a medium short face, short ears and a long tail. So let's get busy. Grooming is not Sasha's favorite thing. I can assure you of that, but she and I have a good understanding of each other and we really enjoy each other. So we get it done, don't we, Sashi? Yes, we get it done. Yes, we do. To start her groom, I am going to use a five blade against the grain on the trunk of the body. I clip her all the way up to the back of the skull or the back of the top knot. I am clipping the pads of the feet with a 40 blade. I am washing Sasha in I Grum Squalane Care Shampoo and Conditioner. It's okay, baby. Yes, you're a good old girl. You're a good old girl. It's okay. I know. You need a bath. Yes, you need a bath. What's the matter, baby? Oh, she's a good, good girl. Yes, he's a good baby. Yeah. Sasha's a good baby. I am using Vetoquinol ear cleansing solution in the ears. I fill up each ear canal with the solution. Rub the base of the ear and allow the dog to shake it out. This removes any moisture that might have gotten into the ears, removes ear wax and loosens up debris. Now we're going to wrap Sasha in a nice warm towel. I am trimming her nails while she is good and wet. This will help me to be able to see the nails under all this hair and it'll make it less likely that I will catch any of that hair in the nail grinding tool. I am taking my 5F blade and going against the grain over the trunk of the body.
Now I am clipping over the body with a six blade going with the grain and skimming off over the hips and the shoulders. The next area of the dog I'm going to clip is around the eyes, the belly, and the pads of the feet. I'll do around the eyes with a 15 blade, the belly with a 10 blade, and the pads of the feet with a 40 blade. I am misting the coat with Igram Magic Mist to reduce the static and give the comb the ability to easily glide through the hair. I am lightly pushing in the hair over the feet to expose the hair right around the foot so that I can round the foot without affecting the longer hair. Then I comb the long hair back out and I bevel the foot. Good girl, Sasha. I am giving her a medium short beard. Now it's time to put in her pigtails. 
I am misting Eye Grown Magic Mist over the top knot, combing the top knot side to side, creating a part in the top knot, just like you'd part your own hair. For the first section, I'm going to take the hair from the corner of the eye up to the part. And put that in its own band. This will keep these small pieces from falling out of the band that's set further back and falling into the eyes too quickly. Match this side. Comb this up. Comb this back. Spray it. Don't want to lose our part. Now we're going to create a part over the ear. Keeping the part in the middle of the head straight. Comb all this up together. And her pigtails go off towards her ears. So we're going to angle them that way. It's easy to wrinkle up the top of the head when you're putting in pigtails. So you want to put them in loose enough so that the top of the skull does not get wrinkled. Now we're going to put her bows on right on top of the band. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. All the tools and products that I used today are in the description below this video with links. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.